This time they had a formal invitation and even a reserved table with name cards. But today, McKell and Tarek Salahi snubbed Congress and refused to testify about their White House party crashing escapade. That left the hot seat to Secret Service Director Mark Sullivan. In our line of work, we cannot afford even one mistake. Sullivan said the Secret Service was solely responsible for the breach. And three uniformed officers have now been suspended. Clearly, this protocol was not followed. A mistake was made in her judgment. Sullivan's out. candor, though, didn't stop his critics, who said the security failure presented a real danger. Severe violation and potential threat to the president and vice president of the United States. But the Secret Service chief disagreed, saying the Salahis were checked by metal detectors and other undisclosed measures. I feel confident, based on what I've heard, based on what I've seen, based on what I've been briefed on, that they did not provide a risk to the president. And in an informal chat with reporters today, the president gave strong support to the Secret Service. I trust them 100 percent, not just with me, but with my wife and my children. Meanwhile, the Salahis hunkered down in their Virginia home, leaving their agent to issue a statement saying they've already cooperated with investigators and there is nothing further they can do to assist Congress in its inquiry. But they were not the only no-shows at the hearing. Citing separation of powers, the White House blocked Social Secretary Desiree Rogers from testifying about her office's role in the security flap. Staff here don't go to testify in front of Congress. She won't, uh, she will not be testifying in front of Congress. Past administrations have used the same argument to block staff testimony in politically charged and highly controversial cases, like Whitewater under President Clinton and the U.S. attorney firings controversy under President Bush. But the use of the tactic in this party crashing case brought an angry rebuke from Republican Peter King. They are stonewalling. And for our committee to work with the White House, there has to be an element of trust. They have breached that trust. While the White House is supporting Rogers, Congress now is threatening the Salahis with subpoenas, assuring their 15 minutes of fame will be extended. Katie? Bob Orr in Washington. Thank you, Bob.